Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to Scottish Guy First Impressions of Savannah, Georgia. And I know Sean has travelled through the US quite a lot. but um, And I assume he's also like on another trip through the US. But he's here now in Savannah, Georgia. And I mean, in terms of um, like the southern states, I don't know if he's been here more, if he's been more to the northern states or the west coast or the east coast. So, I mean, I guess we're going to see, obviously, his first impressions here, but... Also, let's just check this out and see what it's like here. Because, I mean, if I was to think of Savannah, Georgia, I wouldn't have any real assumptions, to be honest. But maybe just quite a historical city, one of the more historical cities in the US. But, um, yeah, we're going to check this out. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy. Links are also in the description to my Patreon, where you can see reactions that I can't post. YouTube, movies, TV series, lots of different things there. But let's check this out. I was just thinking as I was walking along here, this this town doesn't seem, doesn't seem very American. It doesn't seem like it's in America for me. Walking here, I feel like I'm in Europe, like I don't know, maybe it's somewhere in Italy or something like that. This is a huge bridge. I've definitely seen this before, but it is massive. That's an old school looking room. This wallpaper is interesting. It all fits in with the, the 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 edge of the bed and the pillow as well. That's a strange room. In a in a positive way. Huh. We are in Savannah. Please let's just turn that classical music off. Just doing my head in. This is a very classical bed and breakfast we're staying in. Everything is like, I don't know, Victorian. It's very nice actually. I like it. it's very different from what we are used to staying in. Um, but it's what we could find at a reasonable price close to the town centre on uh, on the website. So here we are, Savannah. And I think because it's only 8.30 and Savannah is a nighttime party town. Okay. We may as well take advantage and go into the town and have a wee look first tonight to see what it's like. Why not? What do you think? I'm not sure. It's rainy. The drive over here was very soggy. It reminded me of being in Scotland in the Highlands. But yeah, we're here in Savannah and I'm really looking forward to finding out more about this city and enjoying it. The back garden of the place we're staying. This is quite a place. What old school the building is. That is pretty cool. Into the streets of Savannah. Damn, look at that. Heard what? Is that noise on the I don't know if it's a train or a boat. You hear that noise there? And did you see that flashing up there? There is... Okay. Is that lightning? Maybe the most intense lightning show I think I've ever Jeez, seen it's kicking off lot. all around us right now. And yet, if I look straight up, all I can see is stars. So it must wow. be quite far out. That's wild. The, the amount of times that the sky is lighting up, I've never seen the sky light up that much in the UK ever. There's been pretty crazy lightning like strikes that I've seen but not like constantly flashing like it is right here, which is something that I've never seen before. Anyway, welcome to Savannah in Georgia. We arrived about two hours ago. We've got ourselves sorted out and now we are heading off to the city center, which I think is about a 20 minute walk, apparently. Hopefully that's a safe thing to do. I think it will be. It seems like a safe city. Oh, damn. Jesus. Like, the streets in the southern states, like, with these trees, are so beautiful, man. There's nothing quite like it. Like, the sort of the dangling trees. I forgot what they're called, but, I mean, you see these in every sort of street. Not every street, but a lot of streets in the south. Just these dangling trees in these, like, neighbourhoods with these homes that look so historical. Like, these homes look like they were built in the 18th, 17th, 16th century. 
but they've been kept so well. Again, it maybe changes from um, neighborhood to neighborhood, but like these neighborhoods are so beautiful. I think I saw a bat that just went over my head there. First thoughts from Savannah. Yeah, my God. It's crazy, isn't it? So we're in Savannah and it's a heck of a lot cooler tonight than it has been in our nights in Charleston and that is only because of the sheer amount of rain that we experienced on the drive from Charleston to here. It was like four hours of torrential rain and there's like lightning kicking off all around us so I guess there's just kind of some kind of weather front oh. going on that is making the whole thing cooler because it must be only about 20 degrees Celsius and I'm really comfortable with that. No Jeez. way it's 20 degrees. I mean, it's hot. It's 25. 25? At least. But I'm fine though. So it is a bit cooler tonight and you know, makes it comfortable to walk around not too hot. But we noticed a few people walking around us who had like big jumpers on and hooded sweatshirts. <laughs> they must be feeling cold or something. Not that bad. And huh? the lady in the lady in the Airbnb said it's a really nice night, it's not hum humid. I'm like, the air is yeah. thick, they can cut with a knife. And that looks like an amazing tree. The oh, that is, that, this is a famous tree that I didn't even know about. The Candler Oak. Right here. Boom. Look at that. What the hell, is there grass growing on it? What the hell? I mean, I guess it's moss, but how the hell is so that? So this Candler Oak here. It's like the tree's got sideburns. Right behind us, there you can see all around. That's it's got cool. a plaque here explaining about it. This is actually really close to where we're staying and where we're passing fortuitously. So I'm able to tell you about it based on what it says in the plaque. This oak here, this live oak, has been here since the very first establishment of this town of Savannah around the year 1700. That's when this tree was thought to have been seeded, planted, born. What are trees? <laughs> Born. I don't know. Planted. Planted. I don't know how they planted. They probably planted themselves naturally. Um, but yeah, one of the oldest living, definitely the oldest living organism in Savannah in that case. And during the Civil War, this was known as Camp Davidson, right around this tree. The Confederate Army used the area underneath this tree as a bit of a prisoner of war camp for Union soldiers that they had captured. Well, that Mad sky is Oh my mental. god. Look at that. This place is wild and i love it wow this is this is insane this here is a concrete path in savannah and if you look carefully that is oyster shells what the hell how weird we're not even close to the sea this place would be really cool in halloween it's got that vibe about it you know yeah. with the hanging moss the spanish moss like all around the street lights and stuff. If that could be decorated at Halloween, that would be epic. One major difference I'm noticing between here and Charleston is that you know you've got all these historic buildings here as well and these amazing historic streets. Then you've also got these kind of tall apartment blocks right in the city centre, which Charleston doesn't really have in the old the old historic district. Um, this one's kind of reminds me of the buildings in London, to be honest, exactly like London's buildings. Representing Always nice seeing the Scotland flag up there. See that? Brilliant. That's because there's an Irish pub in there. But don't be expecting me to go into any Scottish or Irish bars while I'm here in Savannah. It's not happening. I know a lot of people send me comments saying you need to go to the Scottish bar, you need to go to the Irish bar. And I think to myself, why would I do that? I need to enjoy more like stuff from here. Loads of Scottish bars where I'm from. <laughs> Cobblestone cobbles on these streets, streets are absolutely wicked. I mean, you get these quite a lot in, in the city that I'm from. I wasn't expecting to see it. I mean, I guess I guess Savannah would be a sort of city that you'd expect to see this sort of stuff because it's a again, it's quite a historical city. But I'll be honest, I've never really thought there were many cobblestone streets in the US at all. So this is quite a shock to see. After a few drinks, you would definitely go flying here. Oh, there's some kind of underground thing. I bet you ghost tours do a thing in here. And apparently, apparently Savannah, Georgia is one of the most haunted cities in all of the United States of America. 
which has something in common with my hometown of Edinburgh in Scotland, which is one of the most haunted cities anywhere in Europe. Here has vaults, but they're open right into the street, and that's how the vaults in Edinburgh would have been one time before they all got blockaded off. And they look very similar to this. Our vaults are haunted, and I would bet that these are probably two. So we're going to try and do a ghost tour while we're here and find out more about that. Yeah, the McCluskey vaults. An Irishman made these. And it's kind of cool, like these vaults here are just open. The ones in Edinburgh are all shut off. And here, you're open, like you can just walk through them. And there's even like a doorway here you can go through. I would bet this has become home to one or two drunk people after a night out in Savannah. It is a good shelter, to be fair. You think the ones in Edinburgh look a bit older? Yeah, I think they are older, no? Maybe. Because it was like... By the time of the... Yeah, a long time before. The plague? Yeah. So yeah, we are on River Street. This is like the main tourist proof here on Georgia where many of the bars are. River Street because the river is right there and there's a big huge boat there called the Georgia Queen. This is where I wanted to come just to check out on our first night in, in Savannah. I love how old school and like classical the the buildings, the boats, everything just seems to be in this in this sea. This boat is straight from the 17th century. My god, I don't want to come a cropper on these cobblestones here. They're very cool. I like these a lot. There's a lot of right, to walk on. I was just thinking as I was walking along here, this this town doesn't seem doesn't seem very American. It doesn't seem like it's in America. For me, walking here, I feel like I'm in Europe, like I don't know, maybe somewhere in Italy or something like that. It's got that kind of feel to it. It's that, dark though, so. Yeah. What does that mean? Talking rubbish. <laughs> and tomorrow we're gonna have a totally different feeling of the city. Or, or maybe it feels like kind of like Prague, but hotter. Oh my God! <laughs> a hot Prague. <laughs> oh, we've only been. Oh no, we've been in Prague in September. It was yeah. quite hot, but not as hot as this. No, even cold. So that's that's kind of my first impressions of yeah. Savannah. Second impression is look at that. Look how shiny I am. <laughs> I do love it though. Yeah, after walking around for a while, it's become hot. But we're going to an ice cream place that one of my viewers has recommended called Leopold's. And apparently it's a good one. We've been walking now for 2.9 kilometers, so not that far even. <laughs> the lightning has stopped. Even the ice cream shop looks classical. And this is all a queue for the shop. I mean, I guess maybe this is like a big ice cream shop here. But even this looks like old school and classical. I feel like, is this just how sort of the theme of the whole city is then? Even within the stores, they try and sort of keep the, I guess, heritage or the historical sort of look. Lemon, lavender and honey. Cookies. What? Mmm. That is nice. I have one scoop of peanut butter and another scoop of pecan. Mmm. Mm. Pecan is nice. Leopold's, we're the last one out. That was pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I got the wrong one. Well, it wasn't wrong. It was nice, the coffee one. Should have got what I got, which was the butter pecan. Yeah. It was good. I still like. Uh, maybe I'm people biased. People told us to get that one. People did tell I us to get that one. Didn't do it. I got what, exactly what people told me to get. But it's now very late and we're very tired. I need to get to bed quickly. So I'm ending this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed these adventures. Very excited to share starting in Savannah, Georgia and making my way all the way down to the very very southern tip of Florida and Oh, so he's traveling all the way through the US That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna, that's a pretty cool journey to do um, Yeah, well, um, 
I guess there's more places he's going to than a lot more like historical cities and stuff. But Savannah really stands out. I mean, it's a really nice place. And I've definitely seen pictures of it before, but to see sort of like just the streets, it does have a very like, I don't want to say European look, but just the streets, the cobblestone specifically, that's something I sort of relate to like um, English cities or British cities. Like the city that I live in has a lot, lots of cobblestone areas that are, I mean, I just sort of thought that was just a, more of like a Victorian British thing, but it's pretty fascinating to see that there's definitely some towns in the US that have exactly the same look in that aspect. But um, yeah, if you're from here, I mean, you look like you've got a blessed place to live. I'm going to be honest, it looks very nice here. And I mean, bar like the hot summers, it could be pretty, pretty nice to go here on a holiday. Again, bar the really hot summers, I assume it gets stupidly warm when it's midsummer. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. And until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.